Today on BrickScore, we will be looking at different LEGO building hammers, and then we will be designing our own using the magic of 3D printing. You may be thinking to yourself, I've been building LEGO for years now and I have never had to use a hammer. Why do I need one? Here is a commercially available LEGO building hammer as shown on this AliExpress listing. It goes for around $10, which is a fair amount of money for what you get. You have a nice and solid weighted metal piece over here. It helps you use it more like a hammer. And it also has this silicone cover to protect your LEGO as you're using this. This bevel part, you can use it more like a traditional LEGO brick separator wedge, like this one. This whole part, I have no idea how to use it. It's not very clear on the manual how to use this. This part is a pin puller. This is a sort of tweezer. And this part is a pin pusher. On the other side is an axle puller. After a lot of faffing around, I have managed to remove this axle piece, which unlocks the hidden feature of this hammer. It's a single stud version of the brick separator. It works okay, but it's such a pain to remove the axle that you won't be using it a lot. This has a lot of bells and whistles on top of being a Lego hammer. I love this weighted block over on the head, but I think overall it's a little too short. It also tries to do too many things at once and just ends up not being good for anything. So if you don't want to buy this one, what are your options? But before that, let's quickly talk about what we are actually looking for in a hammer. First, we want it to be the right size. Not too small, but not too big. We are looking for the Goldilocks choice here. Something that is just right. Second, the head has to be heavy enough to be easy to use as a hammer. This one had the right idea of having a solid aluminum block for the head. Actually, I don't really know if this is aluminum, but it's definitely metal. And third, we want it to not damage the LEGO brick, so material is a consideration. So our first contender is this nylon mallet. Okay, no, don't actually use this on your LEGO. Unless you are wearing eye protection. Joking aside, you can probably use this, just be careful, okay? However, there exists a better option. It's still a nylon mallet, but much, much smaller. It's called a jeweler's hammer for pounding jewelry. This one will work in a pinch, but this handle is way too thin to be used for any extended amount of time. It's awkward to hold and it's also difficult to control. So far, we have looked at things you can buy. But what about making your own? I present the 3D printed LEGO building hammer, patent pending. Not actually patent pending. Let's take a quick journey through the design process of the various versions of this hammer. Version 1. I started with a hammer shape and size that I think would be appropriate for something that will be used on LEGO bricks. I integrated a couple of important features that would be extremely helpful if I can get it right. Specifically a magnet over here for quickly stowing it away on my pegboard or any metallic surface. And this wedge brick separator part, this one was the wrong shape to be useful. For the second version, I tried a different shape for the wedge. Unfortunately, it's still not the right shape. It was difficult getting it into tight spaces. For the third version, I did this more flat shape, which works better, but it ended up so thin that I was afraid it would break. I also succumbed to scope creep and designed an additional feature. These holes were supposed to emulate the holes on the official LEGO brick separator, but the placement is awkward, and there was no way to get any sort of leverage on the piece at this angle. 60% of the time, it works every time. For the fourth version, I redesigned the whole head and I refined the shape of the wedge. This is definitely the best version of it. It's now in three parts, and this head part is hollowed out. I wanted to try implementing a dead blow hammer type of mechanic here. We'll talk about that in the next print. I'm also a woodworker and I've always been fascinated with wooden dead blow mallets. They are used so that you can persuade pieces of wood to fit a certain way into your furniture without damaging it. The avoiding damage part I think is very important when it comes to Lego. And here is the fifth and final version for now. This is the body and we can put the magnet in now. I will have to glue that in later. This is the head. It has some decorative studs and you can put actual Lego on it, but I don't recommend leaving it there. Minor redesign here on the wedge for strength. And here is the business end. I put some foam here to protect the bricks from being damaged by the hammer action. 
and this is some kinetic sand that I bought from a toy store. This is what I use for the dead blow function instead of ball bearings like in larger hammers. Just pour some of the kinetic sand in here and then put glue on this part being careful not to get any on the sand. The verdict is still out on whether or not this actually works at such a small scale, but theoretically it should work. Theoretically. I enjoy designing and building my own LEGO hammer, and I hope you had fun as well. Have I convinced you to use a hammer during your builds? Leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, be sure to check out this one where I discuss 3D printing your own LEGO bricks.